tells police that a driver in a blue pickup has rammed her car. And when she followed him, he waved a large caliber revolver at her. After a short pursuit, the police trapped the man on a side street. Take one, show me with. Driver, turn the truck off and throw the keys out the window. When the driver refuses the order, the SWAT team is called in. Come out, doors opening, doors opening. The driver shows signs of wanting to comply, but then he appears to change his mind. The truck is now surrounded by SWAT officers. Negotiators continue to try to persuade the driver to give himself up. Driver, turn the truck off and throw the keys out the window. Nobody has to get hurt. We can resolve this peacefully. Yeah, I got a good downward angle at it. Mark got it. Driver, we can resolve this peacefully, but nobody has to get hurt. We've got a man that was involved in a hit-and-run accident on the interstate, and the victims tried to chase him down to get him to stop. He pulled a gun and started pointing a gun at him. Our units followed him and got him down here, and he just stopped, so we think he's armed. The police have now established that the truck is stolen, which means they have no way of identifying the driver. We've been negotiating now for about an hour and a half, trying to get him to give up. All we have to do is step out the truck. All we have to do is an accident. Nobody's hurt. Nobody needs to get hurt. Just step out and talk to us. See if you want to go in that direction. That was a good move. Just step out and talk to us. We don't want any problems. We just want him to step out of the truck, put his hands up, and let us take him, take him out, and then answer for his crimes. Uh, he had a hit and run accident, no big deal. When he pointed a gun at somebody, it makes a little bit more of a bigger deal. But we can deal with that. But now we just want him to come out peacefully. SWAT now move their vehicles closer to the pickup truck. The driver has now been in the vehicle for over an hour and a half and shows no signs of leaving. SWAT needs to move things forward. Terry Nichols prepares his team for an extraction. We're about to take out the rearview mirror on the uh, passenger side with the 40. After that happens, we'll get you to move up. Just go bumper to bumper with you. The next stage would be gas after that. So I say just stay put, but we're going to go ahead and block him. Yeah, and I'll tell you when to move after I take that window out. SWAT want to take out the side mirror so the driver can't see them moving towards him. The gunshots will also help divert his attention away from their approach. Stay 
We started moving him along. We took out a rearview mirror with less lethal round, and then it agitated him. He tried to put the vehicle in reverse and tried to back over the team where the team was staged. And uh, in fear of our lives, the guys fired on the vehicle and struck the, uh, struck the sole occupant of the vehicle. The driver was later named as 35-year-old Leslie Eugene Whited. He had a string of convictions for drug-related crime. He was fatally wounded and pronounced dead on arrival at Central Texas Medical Center. A later toxicology report revealed he had levels of methamphetamine in his body that were high enough to have caused an overdose. It's unfortunate in this way. This is not the way we want things to come out today. We want him to step out and give up peacefully. He chose to push the issue and tried to back over and run over with a big four-wheel drive truck and run over our officers where we were negotiating from, and it left the guys no, no option but to defend their lives and fire. It's not the ideal uh, situation. Uh, it actually, it kind of makes me angry that we had to get to this point because we just it's this beautiful Saturday afternoon, and we just want the man to give up so we can all go back home to our families. Esta noite, 21 horas.